Desktop PCs have always had one major advantage over laptops, upgradability. You have a good CPU but your graphics card is getting old? Just take it out, put in a new one and you're good to go. But laptops are more of a package deal, right? You can't just take out your old laptop CPU and upgrade it for a better one. Or can you? Today we are playing with the Area 51M, the first fully upgradable laptop coming from Alienware. Not that it needs any upgrading because our review unit comes with an 8 core, 16 thread, desktop level i9-9900K. And if you think that's overkill, get this. The GPU is none other than the RTX 2080. There's also 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a dual storage option comprising of a 500 GB SSD along with a 1 TB hard drive and a 144 Hz 17 inch full IPS 1080p display and OBI tracking. And that's not all. The Area 51M is one of the best looking laptops I've ever seen. Alienware has decided to redo their entire design ideology going forward with what they're calling the legend design. The Area 51M opts for a much more curved look than what we've seen in the older Alienware models. And while a lot of brands are still sticking to the black and red gaming color scheme, the Area 51M is just covered in dazzling white. While that results in a much more elegant and classy look, it also highlights any dirt or marks you might leave on it, meaning you may have to clean it a lot more than you might like. The build quality, on the other hand, is rock solid. It's a sturdy device for sure, and at roughly 4 kilos, quite chunky to say the least. The front side of the laptop has grills for speakers and by far is the most disappointing thing about its looks, where the glossy black plastic finish just doesn't seem to fit in with the laptop's otherwise ultra-premium looks. For such a huge and powerful laptop, one thing that it lacks surprisingly is ports. On the left side, you have one USB 3 port along with a Type-C Thunderbolt port, exhaust vents and 3.5mm audio jacks, while the right side houses more vents and two additional USB 3 ports. I would have definitely liked to see at least one more full-size USB port as 3 might be a little less for people who are using an external mouse and keyboard, especially if they have a USB headset. On the back side, surrounded by the shiny RGB strip, you can find the LAN port, the Alienware graphics amplifier, an HDMI port, a mini display port and two ports for charging. That's right, the Area 51M requires not one, but two power bricks to reach its full potential. Opening up the laptop, you will be greeted with an RGB backlit keyboard which, while not being mechanical, is one of the most comfortable keyboards I have seen in the laptop. The keys feel nice to press, have a decent travel distance and the overall experience is just great whether you're typing or gaming. And thanks to the Alienware command center, you can customize it to your heart's extent. From individual key backlighting to custom macros, you can do just about anything. Even the trackpad has customizable RGB backlighting. However, one thing that does bug me about the keyboard layout is the awkward placement of the page up and the page down keys which I personally feel have been crammed between the shift and the arrow keys. But enough about the looks and feel. Let's talk performance. I mean, that's what really matters, right? The 9900K and the RTX 2060 in the Area 51 really do seem to be at par with their desktop counterparts. Whether it's pure gaming, streaming, editing or rendering, there is no workload this laptop can't handle without breaking a sweat. And the joy of combining that power with the blazing 144Hz IPS panel, it makes me feel things. Not only are the colors crisp and vibrant, the entire experience is smooth and responsive. The speakers are quite loud too and really add to the whole vibe. It doesn't matter whether you're trying to lose yourself in the amazing world of Widget 3 or trying to get that clutch win in PUBG, the Area 51M does a great job of bringing your games to life. Now, you can't have a 9900K in your laptop and not overclock it. Thankfully, Alienware has made it incredibly easy to do so. Using Alienware Fusion, you can either use one of the two preset overclock profiles or set a manual overclock for both the CPU and the GPU. 
When it comes to packing such powerful hardware into a portable form factor, one major cause for concern is thermals. And things on that front are kind of good news, bad news. In our testing, the GPU temperature stabilized at a maximum of 75 degrees Celsius, but the CPU reached 100 degrees under full load. That's boiling water temperature. Luckily, the fans do a great job of venting it out and the keyboard doesn't heat up, so you can still use it should you wish. And you can hear the fans at work. I mean, they are quite loud. Now that we've covered all the basic stuff, let's talk about upgradability. It's quite interesting how the Area 51M manages to do that. For the CPU, Alienware has just plugged in the desktop-sized LGA1151 socket, which means that changing your CPU is just the same as you would do on a desktop motherboard. However, the GPU comes on a custom-made removable module, which means that you will only be able to get it through Alienware. After all, freedom does come at a cost. Nevertheless, it's an incredibly fascinating concept that seems to work, and I for one am completely blown away with it. But, but, that's not all. Let's face it, life isn't quite that simple. While the custom GPU module means theoretically you should be able to upgrade to next-gen graphics because the design for that depends on Alienware, CPU upgradability will depend solely on socket support. As long as Intel continues to support the LGA1151 socket, upgrading to a new CPU won't be a problem. But the day they decide to switch to a different one, which they will sooner or later, you might be stuck with the last CPU supported. But let's not be pessimistic. After all, the Area 51M is an impressive piece of hardware that is enough to make any and every gamer drool. It's a total knockout in terms of both looks and performance, and the level of customizability is simply amazing. With its size and uber-powerful specs, it's more of a portable desktop than a laptop. However, at a price point of about 3.5 lakhs, it's also enough to make your wallet weak. But hey, if you have the money and want a no-compromise gaming experience while still remaining relatively portable, why not treat yourself?